On the 22nd of June in 1998, in the Church of Corpus Christi in Limerick, Ireland, a table fire took place and it destroyed the entire church. The fire was so terrible that the marble in the church melted. But there was a wooden statue of Our Lady that was totally unharmed. Imagine that. Everything was either melted or burned, but the statue of Our Blessed Mother, wooden statue, it was slightly blackened, but it was unharmed. The platform on which the statue stood was made of marble, and it had melted. The canopy over the statue was also destroyed. This reminds me of the fires in Hawaii just a few months ago, right? Where the fire was eating everything in sight, and then it came to the church dedicated to Our Lady of Victory, all unharmed. The church was completely unharmed. Even the flowers were inside, intact. These stories of Our Lady, despite the terrors of fire, are a very powerful image of the feast we celebrate today, the feast of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary. From the very first moment of her life, from the moment of her conception, God, in His grace, preserved Mary from original sin so as to prepare her as a worthy dwelling place for the birth of her son, God himself. In our first reading from the book of Genesis, we heard, the woman whom you put here with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and so I ate. We know the rest of the story, right? Adam and Eve stood at the foot of the tree in the middle of the garden. They were deciding whether or not to eat its fruit. And the lying serpent persuaded them to go ahead and eat. Eve, the first woman, took the fruit, ate it, and gave Adam the forbidden fruit to eat. They ate the fruit of rebellion and disobedience. Thus, the original sin was committed. And this means that Mary is the new Eve. Because remember, Eve was created without original sin. She committed original sin. And now we have Mary, who's been conceived without original sin. So she's the new Eve. And in her obedience, she fully reverses what the first Eve had sown in her disobedience. The truthful, immaculate Virgin Mother still stands at the foot of the tree in the middle of the garden of Calvary, the tree of the cross which the altar represents. The altar represents the cross. And one of the things Mary reverses is our eating patterns, right? At the foot of the tree. Like the first Eve, Mary also is persuading us to eat of this tree's fruit, the flesh and blood of her son, Jesus, the Holy Eucharist. Many people have been stuffing themselves, gorging with the things of the world for many years. Some refuse to go along with the world's diet, though, and center their lives around the Mass, devoting themselves to partaking of the bread of life, Still others 
are deciding today whether or not to eat the fruit of sinful worldly pleasure. All of us decide today to eat as Mary leads us to eat. She gives us the menu to choose. Allow Mary to fully reverse Eve's curse in your life. Receive the Holy Eucharist and be transformed into who we receive. Then we will be truly like Mary who lived immaculately because we will be truly her child. We will avoid sin and strive to be more like Christ in all that we say and all that we do. O Mary conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee.